Right guys, uh, today we're going to be fixing a door. Uh, the problem is that it's not locking as you try to lock it and it's stuck. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, open the locking, lock, locking mechanism from here and uh, investigate. We'll try to fix the old one and if we cannot fix the old one then uh, we'll uh, put the new lock okay so to start off with i'm going to take all the bolts off from here okay oh. well guys in order to release the locking we locking barrel here there's only this bolt here one bolt here which you need to loosen it and do this one okay so when you do that and the whole barrel should just come out like this okay so that's the locking barrel okay now we're gonna take the handles off two bolts Handles are a bit battered as well. As you can see, it's just the springs are. Okay. Right. Okay. Just so basically, the problematic part is the this part here. So we're just gonna open it, investigate. If we can fix it, okay. If not, then we'll have to change it with a new one, like for like, okay? Okay, to release this part here, this part here, there are three, three, three bolts. One, two, three. Okay. We'll leave that there and this is the part we're going to investigate we'll have a look what the problem is okay okay we're just gonna open this uh, locking mechanism to check what the problem is okay now that i've opened it up i'm just uh, just gonna check it right Right, and uh, as I opened it, I can clearly see straight away that uh, the problematic area is this one here. See, you've got a pin here. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, dismantle it to, to see. Okay. Right, as you can see this plate here. Yeah, this plate. This plate here sits into this groove here. Okay. And as you turn the lock, as you turn the handle, it moves the whole plate. So basically, it just goes up and down when you, and in our case, if you can see this uh, pin here, that's completely worn out and I've got the other part of it in my hand here okay so basically this thing here is completely uh, worn out see it should have been like this okay but as you can see because of the age factor the whole thing is uh, knackered so the best thing is to put a new lock so this is what we're gonna do now okay so we're not gonna deal with this anymore 
as you can see as i pointed out you know i mean we, we you can get the accessories for it but it's going to be very hard for for us to get the accessories and we don't want to leave the door open that night obviously it's a waiting game isn't it for doing a new part right we just managed to get a new part new locking mechanism from a locksmith our local locksmith in uh, oxford and uh, this cost us uh, 54 pound uh, that's uh, excluding that so we're just gonna fit that in okay and hopefully that's gonna do the magic okay so basically the same uh, um, um, we're just gonna fit this on the same existing rail okay so that's how you So basically the groove here yeah and the groove here that should go that should line up with this here okay so let me just line it up just gonna scale the locking mechanism to the to the locking rail Well, right, guys, just gonna scale the 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 rail to the door with these uh, Phillips screws. And the last one was that. Okay. That's that done. So now we're just gonna put new handles because I as I mentioned before, these handles they are completely see the whole thing is uh, battered. I'm just gonna put new handles as well. Okay. Before we do that, we're just gonna slide in the barrel. Okay. So that's the barrel in place. Okay. 
we've got a small problem here the screws are not uh, long enough so we will be using the old screws on them Okay, not too tight, okay? Right. As I mentioned before, the, the screws, the new screws are not long enough, so we're just going to be using the old ones. I've fitted a new lock as well as uh, the new door handle as you can see in the video so just gonna try on with the with the key whether it locks or not okay, okay. there you go okay thank you very much for watching the video